Now, if you words about the French language, you'll get acquainted with a language that is not entirely foreign, alien to English, but that there's a broad common basis of familiarity between English and French. So much so that uh, over 60 percent the votre vocabulaire anglais of the English vocabulary comes from French. Our d'origine française are of French origin. Because English is actually a mixed language, mixed between Anglo-Saxon, Germanic Anglo-Saxon, and French. The French that was brought to the, over to the British Isles for the Norman invasion. The Normans spoke French and did so for a few hundred years. So for a few hundred years, England was bilingual with Anglo-Saxon and French spoken. But that is a different story. Pratiquement, practically, two out of uh, three or four words in English come from French. A d'origine française, of French origin. When uh, Alexandre Dumas, the French author, once decided to learn English, and when for the first time he looked at an English book, he noticed all those similarités, all those similarities between English and French. And he finally exclaimed, but English is all French, badly pronounced. And he had a point with that, because with most words, it's just a question d'accent, a question of accent, just a difference in the pronunciation, a difference in the pronunciation. So pour commencer, to start, to commence, to start, I'm going to give you a few keys to show you how you can uh, retransformer, retransform votre vocabulaire anglais, your English vocabulary, back into French, so that within the next uh, hour or so, you will have a starting vocabulaire, vocabulary, of uh, between 2,000 and 3,000 words, which is not bad to begin with. Spécialement, mm -hmm. especially, si vous considérez, if you consider, how limité, how limited the vocabulaire is, which we use in our everyday language. Le vocabulaire actif, the active vocabulary used in our everyday language, may vary, may vary between 500 and 1500 words. It's very small, very small. If I think of the, uh, the newspaper in New York, one of the major newspapers, where they uh, decided years ago to uh, find out how many words they use in the whole newspaper, how many different words, and they came up with 600. All those words in English come from French. And in French, I believe is pronounced ib, like possible would be possible, yes. with a light touch of the heart, the audible touch of the L. Possible, yes. But same spelling, same meaning. Possible. So I believe is evil because the letter I is pronounced E. And A believe is pronounced Abel because the letter A is pronounced A. Table is table. Comfortable, comfortable. So again, how would you say possible in French? Possible. Possible, right. And table? Table. 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 And uh, uh, comfortable would be comfort comfortable. Yes, what's more? Comfortable. Comfortable. And you know, the, you may have heard the expression c'est la vie. C'est la vie? Yes? Oui. <laughs> Some, somehow everybody knows that. C'est la vie. Do you know what it means? That's, That's life. life. That's life, right. <laughs> That's life. So <clears throat> say, Spelled C apostrophe E S T means it is or that is. Say. And la vie means life, the life. If you want to say uh, it is possible, would be. C'est possible. Right. 
C'est possible. C'est possible. Right. It is comfortable. C'est confortable. C'est confortable. Right. Mm -hmm. The word for good is bon. Like bonbon is goody goody. <laughs> it is good would be. C'est bon. C'est bon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you want to make it very good would be très bon. Très means very. So it is uh, very good would be.